those moments where banking is the last thing on your mind? Yeah, those are our favorite moments too. Bring on the day. First Interstate, built for you. Voted one of America's best banks by Forbes magazine and earning your vote every day. At Wayland Tire, it's service first, quality always. Performance, pride, and passion, three things that define the rich legacy of BF Goodrich Tires and the lasting partnership that we've shared over the years. Like the ever-popular BF Goodrich KO2 Tire and all the Advantage TA line of tires, stop in and talk to your local performance experts at Wayland Tire and get set up with the right type of tires from the company that invented performance. B. Tire. We know tires. Your Montana and Idaho Lithium Ram dealers need cars. And if you need cash, we'll buy your vehicle. And you'll have cash in your hand in about an hour. It's quick, easy, and safe. It's not some late-night backlot shady deal. Just stop in any time and we'll appraise your vehicle. It's probably worth a lot more than you think. And we'll give you cash for it on the spot in about an hour. So whether you're buying a car from us or somewhere else, or just want to sell your car and keep the cash, we want to buy your car. Buying and selling will always be easy at your Montana and Idaho Lithium Ram dealers. Out here, we love our animals, from the wildlife to the livestock. Inside, it's the same. They're just like family. We keep them happy and healthy, most of the time. Secondhand smoke puts pets at risk for cancer, feline lymphoma, vomiting, increases the risk of tumors and lung cancer, even causes eye and skin disease. Secondhand smoke puts your pet's life at risk. Well, hello and welcome, family, friends, and rodeo fans. Hello and welcome to the Bigger, Better Barn and get ready for some of the best intercollegiate rodeo athletes you'll find absolutely anywhere and right here in the Big Sky region. We're here for the MSU Northern College Rodeo. My name is Tregan Olson and I have been waiting for this all year long. I tell you what, we are right here at last year's Big Sky Region Rodeo of the Year, and we're just making it bigger, better, and it starts with you. So, Bigger, Better Born, I want to hear from you. Who's ready to get rocking and rolling? We're going to go ahead and get started right here, bringing in the colors of College Rodeo. It's the NIRA flag, National Intercollegiate Rodeo Association, brought to you by Shelby Rasmussen, our barrel racing director in the Big Sky. Up next, let's go to Big Sky Country. Hello, Montana. That's Peyton Wilson, Newcomb, our steer wrestling director. Up next, we go to the Cowboy State of Wyoming. The lovely Miss Bella Fossum aboard. She is one of our breakaway roping directors. Coming in next, it's cinch jeans and shirts. I tell you what, I'm glad they make fat man size. That is Riley Anderson, our goat tying director right there. Take it to resist all. It's the official hat of College Rodeo as well as the PRCA. I got one on top of my head. You want to be a cowboy or a cowgirl? Get your resist all. That is Kate Hepper, our team roping heading director. Up next, we go to Ram. It's Dodge brought to you by Brooke Wilson, our barrel racing director. I tell you what, you want to get up and down the road, make sure it's a Ram. Right here, we go to Cactus Saddlery. Brett Bartholomew, our team roping healing director, packing that flag wrong. I tell you what, it's like sitting on a pillow when you get Cactus Saturday. Up next, it's Cactus Ropes. You want to be swinging the right kind of twine, you get yourself a cactus. Hello, Tegan Lino, a.k.a. Caesar, our team roping healing director as well. Hill-O-Matic. You want to practice perfect and practice the right way, you get a hill matic That's Mr. Big Sky, Caleb Bergquist, our tie-down director, carrying it. Visit Casper, the home of the college, NFR. That's James Ramirez, our tie-down rope director as well. Hello, Logan Beatty, our other steer wrestling director of the Big Sky. To follow Logan, we say hi to Kayla Schmedeke, another breakaway roping director. And following her, it is the national champ, Paige Rasmussen, for the goat tying. After her, we got Cody Faulkner, the finest from Spud Country. He is the Saddle Bronc Riding Director. 
I take your attention right there, the middle gate of the bucket shoot. Say hello to Trevor K. Our bareback director. After Trevor, it is Nathan Deerhammer, our other bareback riding director for the Big Sky. Caleb Meeks, you are up next, my friend, our other saddle bronc riding director. Bucky McAlp, Pine, buddy, it's time for you. This is our boat riding director. As long, along with Sterling Rogers, our other boat riding director. Friends, let's give it up for all our directors right here in the Big Sky, doing an absolutely fabulous job right here. Now, friends, before we get right in the action, before we get hyped up, before we get ready to get loud and blow the roof off the Bigger Better Barn, I'd ask that you join me in a word of prayer. If you believe like I believe, I'd ask that you gentlemen remove cover and bow your heads as we go to our Lord. Our dear Father in heaven, we're so thankful that we could come together today in Haver, Montana, and enjoy the greatest sport on the face of the earth, and that is rodeo. Lord, we're so glad that we can enjoy that sport on the greatest country on earth, and that's the United States of America. Lord, we ask that you please be with us at this time. Please be with us at these trying times that there is a lot of evil and a lot of hardships going on in the world as well as in our own country. May you be with our leaders in D.C. Guide them. Be with our military men and women as they fight to protect our liberties and freedom each and every day. Watch over them, keep them safe, and bless them as well as their families. May you watch over this arena tonight, Lord, that all contestants and stock will be safe as well. And that everybody, when the time comes, can travel home in safety. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me. All right, now it's time to get loud. Now it's time to get excited. Friends, I want you to welcome, it is your MSU Northern Rodeo team. The lights and skylights coming in, making their way. They can't hear you. Oh, man, I'm loving it. What a great group group of kids there is right there. Right now at this time, Rodeo fans and friends, we'd like to introduce a couple of individuals right here. Coming into the arena, it is your 2020-21 Big Sky Regional Champ. Say hello to Rope Three Irons. Up next, we go to the Big Sky Regional Student Director as well. She made a trip to the College National Finals last year in Casper. It is Cassidy Williamson. Cassidy as well as a senior here at Northern, and we're glad to have her up next coming in. She's currently sitting number one in the breakaway standings. Say hello to Alberta's finest, McKenna Shower. Last but certainly not least, we go to a senior she graduated with two bachelor's degrees, one in liberal studies in psychology and research and the other in social work. She's currently in the MSU Northern grad program for learning and instruction. Say hello to Callahan out of Pollock. There, there, right in front of you, right here. It is MSU Northern Rodeo's finest friends. How about you give them one more round of applause? That is our rodeo team. Right now, friends, if you live in Haver, or you've ever visited Haver, which we all have right now, we know that we're very close to the northern border. We're very close to our friends in Canada, so we would like to pay tribute to them. I'd ask that you please join me as we turn the microphone over to one of our very own alum of MSU Northern. She's been part of our rodeo family before, and we invited her back. Ladies and gentlemen, our Canadian National Anthem, brought to you by Miss Michaela Conley. Our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the 
true nor strong and free from far and wide o oh canada we stand on god for thee god keep our land glorious and free oh canada we stand on god for thee Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Thank you so much, Michaela. I want to ask who, I know we got some students, but who in our audience is from North of Warner? Make a little noise for our Canadian friends, shall we? Oh, I like it. Thank you so much for coming down and joining us. Well, right here, friends, we like to bring into the arena. You heard me talk about it a little bit earlier, but we do truly live in the greatest country of the United States, bringing in the red, white, and blue of the Stars and Stripes. It is our very own Haver National Guard bringing in the colors. Friends, if you aren't already, I'd ask that you please stand, remove cover, and place your right hand over your heart as we play tribute. And again, to the microphone is Miss Michaela Conley for the greatest song ever wrote on earth. It is our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming down the rock. It's red there, the bombs bursting in air, gay proof through the night that our flame was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave? For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Oh boy. I, I tell you what. I'm proud to be an American. I don't know about the rest of you. We're going to say goodbye to the MSU Northern Rodeo team as they come around once more. Make a little noise right now. Montana. We're proud to say it's where we live and where we work. We're so much more than pretty scenery. We are all hardworking, resilient, and resourceful. The vibe is different here. Stockman Bank, Montana's brand of banking. Sandwiches. Better with Pepsi. <sighs> oh, I've asked you once before, but I'm going to ask you again. Bigger, better, barn. who's ready to rodeo? 
Right here, we're starting off with the bear bike riding. We're starting it off with Bucky McAlpine. It's going to be the first cowboy to go. First cowboy to go right here. Getting on the bucking horse. They call Think Pink. Coming out of the doucher and Capernard insurance buck and shoot right there. Welcome them into the arena. It's their pickup man for the evening, Mr. Brad Marshall, Mr. Ben Rosinski. Couple of the absolute finest pickup men you'll find anywhere in the world of rodeo. We'd also like to say hello to J Bar J as well as Iker Cattle Company. I tell you what, it don't get any better in a stock contract in business than what our friends from Circle as well as Glen Dive, Montana bring to us right here in Haver. We're making sure everything's just right and set how it should be. Bucky getting that glove on and getting set ready to go. Friends that are walking in, I'd also like to invite you guys. Don't forget about our concession stand right here, as well as the beer garden. Oh, you guys found a beer garden. I like it. Head on over, get yourself something to eat, get yourself a cold beverage, and get set. Doug Kallenberger. Doug Kallenberger, if you get a second, we need your attention at the announcer stand, please, and thank you. But again, get yourself a cold beverage, get yourself something to eat, and find a seat because it's about to get good, it's about to get wild, and it's about to get western. All right here in a bigger, better bar. Climbing aboard, think pink. Mr. McAlpine getting his hand wedged in that bareback rigging. He is rodeoing down there in Bozeman, Montana for the Bobcats. Anybody a Bobcat fan in here? I want to hear you. We got some cat fans. I like it. He's getting set. Hand in the air. And he nods. He was in a stall. Let's start it off. Come on, Bucky. Oh, that's the way we want to start off. That's the way we want to do it. We got our first qualified ride of the night. Our scores are coming in right here from our judges. Our judge, our officials tonight, Mr. Ron Howard, Mr. Jim Cutler, two of the finest gentlemen you'll find in the officiating rodeo world anywhere right there. We're so glad to have them. How about this, Haver? 71 to start us off. Up next, we're headed to a cowboy from the University of Montana Western in Dillon. This young man, I tell you what, he's from Chester, America. And if you don't know where that is, look it up. Chester, Idaho, right where I am from as well. This cowboy and I grew up right next door to each other. He's a good young man, and I tell you what, he can ride bareback horses. Trevor Kay is his name, and he's shooting for that 71 that's currently on top. The 71 on top of the leaderboard, and he's getting on the J. Bart J. Bucket. Snake all mama tried. Bulldog getting set, ready, let's make some noise, have her. Help him, help him. We coming in there, the bear back horse right there. Look out, Ron. Woo. Good thing you're fast. If you were as old as, old as Jim, you want to got out of the way then. Mr. Howard, Mr. Cutler, button pen to paper right there. Scores are coming in. I tell you what, what a start to our night covering two bareback horses as good as that. Put him in to number two place. It's going to be a 51-point ride for the Bulldog, 51. The new coach just got hired on a couple months ago, J.T. Robbins. He's the head of Western down there. We say hello to him Great ass, asset, great coach to have in a big sky region. Welcome, JT. Up next, 
We're headed to another Bobcat. We're headed to another MSU Cowboy, a uh, Nate Deerhammer. Nate Deerhammer right here, the name of the Cowboy. Right here. Night Ringer with the name of that bucking horse. We've covered our third bareback ride of the night right there. Mr. Rosinski setting him down to the ground safe and sound friends. He's right there in the middle of the arena. How about we give him an applaud for the effort right there? We're going to take over second right there with a 60 point ride for Nate. 60 points. Right there, we've filled up our leaderboard. 71, 60, and 51 are the top three spots in the back, and, and we got two to go. We got two left as we head to Ethan Frazier. Ethan Frazier's the cowboy to go right here up next. Ethan Frazier getting on the bareback horse from J. Bourget. They call Jack it up. Let's go right here. Help him, Haver. Help him. Oh, friends. Friends, I got a little bit of bad news right there. A rule is in our rough stock events, when that horse... When that shoot gate's open, that cowboy has to have the heel of his feet above the point of that horse's shoulder. If not, it's what we call missing him out. And that is exactly what Mr. Frazier did right there, missing him out. Friends, how about we give Ethan a round of applause for the effort. Show him a little love. Don't let him leave empty-handed. We got one left. We got a cowboy that I tell you what is no stranger to this part of Montana. Right here, he's down in Bozeman, currently rodeo on for as another new coach in the Big Sky region. Hello, Kyle Whitaker. Glad to have him aboard. Glad to have him a part of the Big Sky region as well. This is Caleb Nordstrom, the cowboy to go right here. Getting on a J-Board, J-Bucking Horse, Delta Hawk. Delta Hawk, the name of the bucking horse, I tell you what, we've seen four absolutely phenomenal ones. We're about to see it one even better right here. Getting his hand wedge in that bareback ring right there. It's got to be tight. Let's go, Caleb! Yes, yes, yes! Oh my goodness, wasn't that a bareback ride? Absolutely beautiful right there. He's coming right to you, Haver. Make some noise there. Brad Marshall, Ben Rosinski, our pickup man moving in, getting him set to the ground. Lisa, I know you're here. How about you talk to that young man? Oh, did we finish it off right? How about new leader with a 78 point ride? All right, friends, while we're getting things switched up, while we're heading the time event side, I'd like to introduce to you, after this commercial message, I want to bring out Montana, we're proud to say it's where we live and where we work. We're so much more than pretty scenery. We are all hardworking, resilient, and resourceful. The vibe is different here. 
Stockman Bank, Montana's brand of banking. What is the power of a Northern degree? It is the power to teach and the power to heal. It is the power to feed and the power to fuel. It is the power to choose your career and the power to rise to the top. That is the power of a Northern degree, and that power is in your hands. I'm really glad we decided to put carbon monoxide detectors throughout the whole house. I just can't imagine what would have happened if we didn't. wrestling right here. We're starting off with the Northwest College Cowboys, Silas Yorks, the cowboy to start us off. Getting set, getting back to that box right here. Putting old Gray in the corner and let's do it. While he's getting set and ready, friends, I want you to look down there and I want you to check out that rope strung in front of the Gray Horse's chest. That's what we call the barrier. Those who haven't been to a rodeo before, that gives the steer or the calf an allotted head start. If you leave too soon and break that barrier, it adds a plus 10 onto the time of the cowboy or cowgirl. And I tell you what, they do not want that one bit. So you gotta give that steer or that calf a head start, get out behind the barrier and get to him. Oh boy, we're having technical difficulties down there. Well, we're going to need that steer back, and I guess we'll keep rolling on right there. Had a little malfunction. While we're getting things and set ready right here, friends, I'd like to introduce down to you, co-announcing with me today, a man that has been using his voice for many things, Carroll College for 15 years, doing basketball games, volleyball games, all kinds of athletics. Friends, say hello to Jason Walker. Hey, happy to be here in Havre tonight. It's uh, it's always a great time to be up in the beautiful Hill County country. It's uh, my first time at this rodeo, but this is a good one so far. It's the best one right here. We love it. Well, I'm kind of partial to Bozeman growing up there, so that, <laughs> that spring rodeo down there is pretty darn good. Well, we're back to the action of things right here. Back to the box at the Bulldog from Belgrade. James Ramirez getting things set and right how he wants them. We're out and underway. James down to pick him up, set him on his side. Yes, sir. That'll be a six and six to start us off. Six and six right there. Pretty good, pretty good. I tell you what, friends, that's a good run, but get ready, we're about to get faster. Get ready, we're about to get bigger, better, and the bigger, better barn, believe it or not. Right here, we're going to a bobcat. We're going to Montana State in Bozeman, one of the finest right here from Brown Grade, Montana as well. It is Clay Johnson. Clay Johnson getting set, right here, switching hazers. We're loading the steer, and we're getting ready to go right here, friends. We'd like, we're rolling past Clay. All right, we're going to go to, oh, Cy. Are we going to go to Cy? Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Goings. All right, change of program right here. We're headed back to the man that was supposed to start us off, Silas York. Silas York's the cowboy up right here. We. That was fast getting his deer back, gentlemen. Good work down there. While we got a moment, I'd like to say thank you to the MSG Northern Path Club. They're behind the scenes, outside, inside, all around the Bigger Better Barn, helping us out tonight as well as tomorrow night. We say thank you to the Path Club from Northern. Thank you so much to you guys. 
What a great weekend here in Hammer. You've got homecoming for Montana State Northern. You've got rodeo tonight, tomorrow. You've got volleyball going on right now. you got football tomorrow taking on Rocky on SWX Montana. That'll be a lot of fun, and uh, we'll have that call for you. And then we're back here tomorrow night for the rodeo. This is, And uh, it's just a great time in Haver, Montana on a Friday night. It certainly is. It always is good when rodeo's in Haver. I love it. When rodeo's in any city we're in, that's a good thing. <laughs> Very true. Very true. All righty, we're getting the barrier retied, restretched. Mr. Cutler's pinning it, and we're going to gray. Oh, boy. While we're restringing that barrier once more, we'd like to say thank you so much to Lion Productions. Joining us here, we're good right here. Well, friends, we got another qualified run at a five and six, but that barrier I was telling you a little bit about ago, he broke the barrier. That's going to be plus 10. The five and six goes to a 15 and six for Cy right there. 15 and six. Now we're going to be back on pace. Now we're back on schedule with Mr. Jones. Bryce Harrison leading the steer wrestling coming in, and uh, after three weekends, one died last week. A very successful rodeo last week over in eastern Montana. That's great because we get to go from eastern Montana, now northern Montana. Next week, we'll be down south in Dillon. All over the state in the Big Sky region right here. We're set. We're back to the box to get in a roan horse set in the corner. Mr. Johnson currently sitting six. In the Big Sky Region Steer Wrestling standings, he's looking to move up a couple spots right here. If we get the bay horse set right where we want, nods his head. Let's go, Clay. Oh, right down to the other end, Haver. How about we help the Bobcat? Help him. Oh, friends, I tell you what, that did not look enjoyable. That was a little tough right there, but he got the task done, friends. How about you show him a little love? Make that walk back up the arena a little easier. Like I was saying a little bit earlier to go, Lion Productions is here with us. Put us on national TV. I tell you what, what a cool deal. We're so thankful to have them. That is the reason. Right over there, as you can see at our jumbo screen, not big screen, jumbo screen right there in the corner, playing us some commercials with our amazing sponsors and the great people that come together and help us out to put on the MSG Northern College Rodeo. Thank you so much to all of them. Up next, we're going to Tyson McKenzie. Tyson McKenzie from Dawson Community College. Not to resist all and let's go. Mr. Howard drops the flag there, and we turn in a time of six and five. Six point five right there for Mr. McKenzie. I'd also like to say hello and a special thank you and welcome to our DJ, our music man, one of the finest to put music in an event right here. Say hello to Jacob Narducci. Oh, I love it. So glad to have him with us right here and have him back to the action. TJ Sigman is the cowboy to go right here. He is the well. It's a bulldog from Western in Dillon. Like Jason mentioned a moment later, a moment ago, we will be going to Dillon next week. Let's go, TJ. That steer is not helping at all tonight, but those points are going to be big no matter what. Sitting ninth currently. That'll be nine flat right there for Mr. Segment. Nine flat unofficially moves him to third place. Moves him to third place. 
As we get the Star Wars picked up, oh, Caleb Burquist. Am I excited to talk about you later on? Caleb Burquist and fellow Bobcat on the other side right there, doing the haze and chores for many Bulldoggers. We dubbed him the name Mr. Big Sky, and when you see him throughout this rodeo, you'll understand why. Putting Caleb Burquist back on the Hazen side as we say hello to another Bobcat. It is Bodie Spring coming in right here. Six and five, still on top by Tyson McKenzie. Six, six, and six, six and second and nine flat in third. Is done officially the top three spots of the leaderboard right there. Got some friends over there helping push the bay horse in the corner right there. Everything's got to be just right. Let's go, Mr. Spring. Whoa. Doing some acrobatic tricks off the bay horse. Not going to make it work right there, friends. Let's give him a round of applause. We'll see him a little later on in a couple other events. going to be a no time for Bodie Spring. Guys, second in the standings in the Big Sky region right now in steer wrestling. Chance Story, Northern Montana. Oh, we're going to Logan first. Well, he's third, so this is good. Logan had himself a fantastic high school career, by the way, with the uh, Helena High School Rodeo Club. And he's a pretty good kid, too. And a nice, uh, nice run on the Northern Rodeo Association this summer. This year. In the year end standings. Of course, those finals coming up in October up in Kalispell. This is a good cowboy all around hand. Let's go, BD! Yes! There you go. Hell of a boy getting it done. How about we go to number one with a four and six? What an absolutely picture perfect steer wrestling run down by the hell in a cowboy right there. Mr. Logan Beatty. After, how about we say hello to our first light tonight, Mr. Chance Story. Coming to us from White Soap for Springs, Montana. He's a freshman. He's in the diesel mechanic program, and he's rodeo on for the lights right here up in Michigan Northern. This is a good Cowboys and all-around hand. He's a steer wrestler, team roper, tie-down roper. Great Cowboy, and we're so lucky to have him part of the rodeo family here at Northern. Like Jason mentioned a little bit earlier, this is the number two man in the Big Sky Regional standings for the steer wrestling event. Had an absolutely phenomenal weekend last week in Glendive, Montana. Looking to make it even better right here at the hometown rodeo. It was 11-7 last week. Setting out underway. Oh, oh man. Friends, I tell you what, checking into Heartbreak Hotel right there. He's one of us. He's part of Northern. He's in the family. Make some noise right there, friends. Help him out. We'll see that cowboy later on. I promise you that. I promise you that. Right here, we head to another Bobcat. We hit... To Gooding, Idaho, for the cowboy of Cody Faulkner. He's an all around hand, does both sides of the arena. He's a team roper, tie down roper, steer wrestler, as well as a sap bronc rider over by the buck and shoots. I tell you what, he's a good cowboy. He's a senior down there at Montana State. Let's watch him right here. Sitting number five in the regional standings, 
Number five right here, Cody, it's your turn. Oh, he's trying, Aver, he's trying. Got him. After the struggle, after the fight, and when it's all said and done, it's a 12 and three for Mr. 12.3. Go ahead over, watch the replay. Watch the struggle right here. Well, friends, that's going to do it for the big man event. That's going to do it for the steer wrestling. Right here, as we head over to the jumbo screen, we'll see right there. Our scoreboard should be coming up right there, and then we will head into a commercial. Yep. Logan Beatty on top with a four and six. Tyson McKenzie, six, six. And James Ramirez with a six, six. Excuse me, Tyson McKenzie is a six, five. Your top three places. We go to a commercial. We are Northern. We are the teachers and the nurses. We are the farmers, the plumbers, the electricians, and the technicians. We are dedicated, passionate, driven, and sought after. We are the world's essential workers, and we are prepared for whatever comes next. Join us and prepare for the world at MSU Northern. I think the biggest motivator is probably protecting loved ones. Universally, what I'm hearing from people after the experience of being vaccinated is this feeling of relief, this feeling of joy and hope. The vaccine is absolutely safe and effective. The safety rate has been extraordinarily good given the millions and millions of people who have been vaccinated to date. There's no question it saves lives. Those moments where banking is the last thing on your mind? Yeah, those are our favorite moments too. Bring on the day. First Interstate, built for you. Get an edge in buying your home by getting pre-qualified for your mortgage today. All right. We're back and ready for some more action. It's the Nanny Slam, and let's go to the goat time right here. We're going to be starting off with the Miles Community College Cowgirl of Holly Smith. She'll be starting us off with the goat time. This is a pretty unique event. If you haven't seen it, get ready for this. Holly Smith, the cowgirl to start us off right here. The coach, Sylvan Lacrosse of Miles City Community College. He's not necessarily new. He's been previously at the University of Providence, now the new head coach at Miles Community College, doing a great job there. We're glad to have him aboard and in a new place. Holly Smith right here. We need to roll her. All right, we're gonna roll past Holly Smith. Go on to Emmy Ilgen. Oh, no, we're good. No, it is Holly. Must have had to pull her out of the beer garden right there. Holly Smith coming in. The goat right there, friends. When she gets off and ties that goat, the goat has to stay down and tied for six seconds before she gets to him. Going to be a seven flat right there for Holly. Seven flat. Good way to start us off. I like it. Well, I tell you what, you got to be fast. If you want to get into the points tonight, Emmy Ilchin, fourth in the regional standings. Montana Western Cowgirl gets the job done. And all around Ann right there, one of the best. She's currently in her senior year down there at Western. Originally from Sheridan, Wyoming, now living in Belfry, Montana. 
We sure love her right there. Going to be a six and five moves her to number one. Right here, we know this name. We know this cowgirl. She is number two in the goat time standings. Get ready for Shelby Rasmussen. Shelby has finished first or second so far this year in the Big Sky region. One of the best, the best you'll see. Let's cheer her on. Come on, bigger, better, more. Ooh, yes. Very nice. Shelby's least favorite event, by the way, is go tying, but she's gotten a lot better at it because of her sister. Exactly are we, right. Are we, are we gonna get car wheel tonight? No, no car wheel. There it is. Yes, ma'am. Listen to this new leader with a six and one. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm liking it. I'm loving it. I want some more of it as we continue now to another bulldog. As we continue to another gal from Western, it is Harley Baisley. She calls Idaho home right now, living in Dillon, Montana. Going to school and tying some goats. Let's go, Harley. Putting us at a tie at third and fourth with a seven flat for the run. Seven and zero right there. Right now, we go to a bobcat. We go to Riley Anderson. Go to the cowgirl right here from Corvallis, Montana. Six and one still on top. Let's see if we can change it. Go, Riley, go! She stays tied and we got, the goat stays tied and she goes into a tie right here of a six and five. Six and five for Riley. Right here we're going to another bulldog. We're full of bulldogs tonight in the goat tie. Coming to you from Nevada, let's say hello to Layton Byer. Bringing in a sorrel or she calls cowgirl. Steps off and down to the goat. How about we help her out, have her? Boy, I tell you what. It's getting tight, it's getting fast, and it's getting good. Six and six for Miss Byer right there. Six point six. Oh, my favorite part of goat tag, Jason. The goat switch. We need to, instead of the heat is on, I mean, we should play like a little uh, chicken dance or something here, right? Wouldn't that work? Something goofy? Oh, a grizzly is on there. Any grizzly fans in Haver? No. <laughs> okay. I can promise you there is. They just don't want to admit it. Ashton Carlson, the cowgirl right here. Have a little tr trouble with Dunny. Gets him out of the way and down to the goat. Yes, ma'am. Making the best out of a bad situation right there. She steps away. Oh, we're checking it, Mr. Howard. We're checking the tie. Looks like we're good. Going to put her to 7 and 8 right there for Ashton. 7.8. Oh, no time. Correct, Mr. Howard? Gotcha, gotcha. No time right there. Having some difficulties down there. As we keep rolling on, we go to Jessica Stevens. Going to school in the Dawson community. Keep hustling. She's moving. Woo. She looked like Roadrunner on Looney Tunes right there. Her feet were just... <laughs> Gonna be a seven and two right there for the cowgirl. Seven and two as we've got one to go, friends. How about this? It's a skylight. Let's make some noise for McKenna Shower.
Yes! Oh. We got it right there. Have her make some noise. I told you you were going to have to be fast tonight. Woo! Your skylight right there putting in a time of six and six. Wow. I tell you what, look at this leaderboard when it pops up on a jumbo screen. It is fast and it is tight. Six and one, six, five, two, six, five, and two, six, six. Friends, we'll be right back at you after this commercial. This is Mountain Dew. A rush of crisp and refreshing flavor. Delivering a bold citrus kick. Do the do. Your Montana and Idaho Lithia Ram dealers need cars. And if you need cash, we'll buy your vehicle. And you'll have cash in your hand in about an hour. It's quick, easy, and safe. It's not some late night back lot shady deal. Just stop in any time and we'll appraise your vehicle. It's probably worth a lot more than you think. And we'll give you cash for it on the spot in about an hour. So whether you're buying a car from us or somewhere else, or just want to sell your car and keep the cash, we want to buy your car. Buying and selling will always be easy at your Montana and Idaho Lithia Ram dealers. At Wayland Tire, it's service first, quality always. Performance, pride, and passion, three things that define the rich legacy of BF Goodrich Tires and the lasting partnership that we've shared over the years. Like the ever-popular BF Goodrich KO2 Tire and all the Advantage TA line of tires, stop in and talk to your local performance experts at Wayland Tire and get set up with the right type of tires from the company that invented performance, BF Goodrich. Wayland Tire, we know tires. Sandwiches. Better with Pepsi. <sighs> oh, begin it on a mine. It's team roping time. We're going to the true team event, the sport of rodeo right here, and we're starting off with Rebecca Stroh and Tyson McKenzie. We saw Tyson McKenzie a little bit later on, a little bit ago in the steer wrestling. He's here in the team roping. Can't make it work right there. Good time for our first team out. No time. As you can see right there, friends, it, you don't have to go to the same school to team rope together. We got an MCC cowgirl and a DCC cowboy right there team roping. But right here, we paired up and we got a couple of bobcats. Couple of ladies. We're going to Haley Garrison and Molly Salmon. Glenn Montana to the front side and Shoto Montana to the back side. Right here we got that barrier string in play. They gotta let that steer out run to him. Rope him by the horns, the neck, or the half head. Turn him around. Let's get two hind feet. Come on, Molly. Oh. Not going to make it work right there. Going to be in no time. All right. All right, Haver. I want to talk to you for a second. I want you to be ready for this. We are 0-2 in the team roping, but it's about to change right here. It's about to change right here, right now, because it is MSU Northern back to the box. I'm talking about Lodge Grass, Montana to the front side, and Chase Bridge, Columbia to the back. Justin Three Irons, Lincoln Yorama, yes! Oh! We have our first qualified run of the night right there. We had him by two feet, but we slipped one. You only get one hind leg. It's a plus five added on the time. Plus five added on the time. Going to be 11 and seven with the penalty. 11 and seven right there for the light. Right here, we had to a couple more Bobcats and we to a couple more of ladies teamed up right here. Ashley Koenig and J.C. Curran. Three Forks, Montana, and over in Oregon, 
Reach it out right there. Bring him around. Come on, Rody. Oh, boy. No time for the cowgirls tonight. No time right there. The lights are still on top and the team are open right here as we go to Western. We go to the Bulldogs. Harley Beasley is coming in. We saw her in the goat tie-in. Rance Allen going to do the healing right there for her. Again, you have three legal head catches on the head and side. Two horns around the neck or a half a head, which is around the nose and a horn. Anything else, they got to flag you out and say no time. We got our barriers strong and we're set to go for the Bulldogs right here. Not of the resist, no, Miss Beasley. Reach out, put him on, and Mr. Allen, no. Well, hello, Miss Williamson. You doing good? Oh, I'm glad to hear it. We're doing good as well. We need to change it up. We need a difference right here. When we need your help, we need you right here, Haver, because we got a skylight about to get in the box. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jake's got it for us. Get your hands together. Get bumping. Get moving. Coming in on the front side from Arlene, Montana. It's a skylight. Cali out of Pollock. To the back side of Western, it's Natalie Jones. We got Arlene, Montana, and Idaho teamed up right here. This is our third team of ladies we've seen thus far tonight. We're going to get things set. We're going to get it right. A skylight and a bulldog. Let's see if they can put it together. Oh, yeah. Shania's on. You know something good's going to happen. Oh, get old Bay up in there. We're having a little bit of tough luck to the front side. Friends, I tell you what, let's give them a little love. Put your hands together. There's going to be a no time there. No time once more. All righty. All righty. We've had five no times, Charlie Mac. Five no times and one time at 11 to 7. That was your lights of MSU Northern on top. We got a team of some skylights right here, Haver. McKenna Shower, Jill Marcinko. I tell you what, we got Larry D. Jr. to the front side and Little Wick to the back side. Get ready for this. It's about to get fast, Romers. It's about to get wicked, and it's about to get lit up right here. Haver, where are you at? Oh, I'm hurting for him. Going to be in no time for us, friends. They're one of us. They're hometown proud. Come on. Give him some love there, Haver. Give him some love. Well, to say the least, we've been snake bent in the team roping. Jason, how about you change our luck? Oh, well, we'll see what I can do here. How about uh, Cole Trexler, Tristan Setzer from Miles Community College. You know, they got a pretty good baseball team over there. Went over to the regionals in Iowa last spring. Did pretty good. Is that uh, all you can do in Miles City, play baseball? Baseball and rodeo, that's about it. <laughs> You know, I got that world-famous bucking horse sale over there. All right, we got the front side done. How about the back side? Yes! 
How about that? Six and five. Well, there you go. Change the luck a little bit. <laughs> we changed it right there, and we go to number one when they're faced up, and it's all said and done. Six and five for the team of Trexler and Setzer. Teams to go. All right, friends. We've asked you before. I'm gonna ask you again. Who's the Grizzly fan in here? Let's make some noise. No, still not. Still no one. Huh? Well, that's okay. We got Cheyenne, Carl, and Trevor Klein back in and ready to go right here. Shepherd, Montana, and Glasgow, Montana teamed up a pair of Grizzlies in a bigger, better barn right here. A Philly and a Scotty. A Philly and a Scotty. Yeah. Is it the Shepherd Phillies? <laughs> <laughs> well, can't change it. Can't change it. The six and five and number one, the 11 and seven and second as we go to a couple of trappers. We go to Powell, Wyoming for Northwest College. It's Silas York and Spencer Gordon. Silas York was in the Bulldog a little bit ago. He was a 15 and six there. We're gonna change our luck. We're gonna make it happen right here. I want a copy of that. That's gonna be a good one. While we're getting things set in the way we want them, I'd like to say hello to a very special lady, a very dear lady here at MSU Northern Rodeo. It is the absolute finest photographer in all of rodeo. Say hello to Jackie Jensen right there. So glad to have her right here in the Bigger Better Barn. Don't forget, you can head on over to JackieJensenPhotography.com. Check out those awesome images she'll have of the contestants all weekend long. And we're ready to go. We got half the job done. Come on, Spencer! Hello, outside whale. We're going to get him but plus five. Plus five right there for 11 and two. 11 and 2 to finish off the team roping right there. That's still good enough for second. Yeah, yeah. A rough night oh, for the team ropers tonight. Jim, we've had enough heartache in the team roping, and you give us that. The 11 and 2 turns into a 21 and 2 right there. As the scoreboard comes up on a Jumbotron, not looking very good. Friends, we'll be coming right to you for some saddle bronc riding just in a moment. This is Mountain Dew. Of crisp and refreshing flavor. Delivering a bold citrus kick. do to do at Independence Bank, we're local and you're our neighbors. For generations, we've worked hard to earn the trust of our customers. The decisions we make are based on how to best serve the people and communities on the High Line. You'll see that in the products we offer from our online and mobile banking to lending solutions that are tailored to fit your life. Our MSU Northern and School Spirit debit card programs are just two of the many ways we give back to our communities. At Independence Bank, we're not only banking on the High Line, we're building for its future. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Out here, we love our animals. From the wildlife to the livestock. Inside, it's the same. They're just like family. We keep them happy and healthy, most of the time. Secondhand smoke puts pets at risk for cancer, feline lymphoma, vomiting, increases the risk of tumors and lung cancer, even causes eye and skin disease. Secondhand smoke puts your pet's life at risk. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. <sighs> oh, Haver Montana, welcome back. Who's ready to jump on the Rumpstock side of things? It's Saddle Bronc riding. Right here, we're going to be starting off with Kaylier Spotted. Will be the first Bronc rider to go in the night. Zip Lock Lizard, the name of the bucket horse he's getting on. 
Zenblock Lizard brought to you by J Bar J Rodeo. Again, a huge thank you to J Bar J as well as Iker Cattle Company, the absolute finest stock contractors in all the world of rodeo, and they've come to join us here. They do so much for us throughout the year as well as the Big Sky region as a whole. Again, thank you to Sparky Dries and thank you to Paul Liker and the crew and family as they are absolutely phenomenal and we are so thankful to have them here with us this weekend. We're getting things set. We're getting how we want for the Dawson Community College Cowboy. Taylor spotted getting set and getting on Zip Block Lizard right there. Get his feet set in a stirrup, his hand in a bronc crane. Getting ready to nod the resist all and let's go. Start us off, Keller. Oh. A no score there for that cowboy. No score. We're going to be a no score right there for the Cowboy. Welcome back into the arena. Mr. Ben Rosinski, Mr. Brad Marshall, our pickup man, getting these Cowboys set safe and sound to the ground. Thank you, gentlemen. Two of the best in the business. And they're right here with us at Haver. Up next, we head to Northwest College. Coach Dell and Becky knows been coaching for a long time. Couple of the best in the business. We're glad to have them a part of the Big Sky region. Dale down there helping his cowboy get aboard the bucket horse. They call custom fit. As my good friend Tobin Cummins would say, oh, that's custom. Nods his head. Let's go right here, Mr. Vickers. Eight, eight, four, eight, there. Going to be a no score for the Cowboys. No score coming off a little too soon before the eight second buzzer right there. Boy, I tell you what, I want you to head over that jumbo screen and watch that replay. And look at that bucking horse. Woo! -hoo! My goodness, I tell you, when I say they are the absolute best, I'm not lying. When J Bar J brings the bucking horses, you get ready for a show and you get ready for them to buck. Oh, boy. Have I been excited about this one, and you need to be excited, too. We head to the Shanty Bar Buck and Shoot for this cowboy. Colin brought us Montana home. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your northern cowboy, Garrett Cunningham. Oh, you didn't hear me, Haver. You didn't hear me. I said he's from northern. Come on, Garrett. Yes, yes, help him, help him. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, bigger, better barn. I love it. Mr. Marshall, Mr. Zinsey getting in and getting Mr. Cunningham set to the ground. He's going to be right there in front of you, Hammer. Make some noise for the cowboy. We got our first qualified ride. Listen to this. 66 points. Oh, I'm loving it. Putting him unofficially number one. Number one right there, Mr. Cunningham. That's the way we like it. That's the way we want to get things rolling right here in the Santa Bronc riding.
Up next, we head to another trapper. We head to a cowboy out of Washington, Nolan Burwell of the Northwest College. This cowboy getting his feet set, getting the things the way he wants, getting set and ready for that eight second dance. Oh, I'm feeling it, Rome. I like it. Old Garrett put the 66 on top. It just heated it up. Let's see if we can keep it going. Come on, Nolan. Whoa. Man, JoJo. Send him out over the front and say goodbye. Whoa. Going to be a no score for Nolan right there. No score. All right, we're moving on to Carson Klingler from uh, Western or Montana, we Montana Western. You're not allowed to say Western Montana College, but it is the University of Montana Western down in Dillon, where we will be next Friday and Saturday night. As soon as we can get uh, this fun little horse out of the arena. How long has this arena been here? Oh, just I, since they built it. Long time. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but it's been a long time. <laughs> At least 40 years, Jackie Jensen. Jackie Jensen, thank you very much. She, There's nobody better in the business than Jackie. Oh, no. Not, no. Not she tried all. one time to get me to leave Helena after the last chance stampede to drive down to Cheyenne for the short go. 12 hours, and I'm like, eh, I don't think <laughs> I can make that happen. Uh, Next she, time. She Next time. is everywhere. Well, I haven't seen you in Helena since then, so. <laughs> All right, Carson Klingler, sitting third in the Big Sky region in Saddle Bronc currently. Getting things set and ready in a Western trailer and marine sales bucket shoot right here. Rexburg, Idaho is where he calls home, and he's climbing aboard a big white bucket horse they call straight up. I tell you what, this is straight up, and you better get straight for this, because it's going to get wicked. Bucket shoot opens. Let's go, Carson. No. Whoa. I promise, friends, when he stands up, he's not a certified midget. He's just really short right there. Carson Klingler going to be a no score. No score from a little buddy. We've had five bucking horses out, and we've had four no scores. That's 66 done by Mr. Cunningham. Still number one, still on top of the leaderboard as we go to a good cowboy right here. I want you to say hello to Cody Faulkner one more time for me as we've seen him all night long. He's our Saddle Bronc Riding Director. We're not going to go to the gym yet. We go to our other Saddle Bronc riding director. Caleb Meeks is a cowboy right here. Caleb coming off a win last week over in Glendive. And sitting second in the Big Sky region. Caleb getting on a bucket horse. They call lounge at night. Scrunches down to resist. Oh, let's do it right here. Making sure everything's just right, right here. Mr. Meeks, lounge at midnight, getting set and ready to do the eight second dance. Making sure everything's just right, making sure how he wants it. He's shooting for that 66. He's shooting to go to first place. He's shooting for number one. Sparky Dries and the head man of J-Bar-J back there on the flank, making sure it's just right how it should be for lounge at night to do some bucking. Let's go, Caleb! Oh, 
Oh my goodness, friends, Mr. Zinsky, Mr. Marshall, moving in to pick him up right there. I want you to look over at the jumbo screen, check out that replay. None of that was easy by any means right there. Mr. Howard, Mr. Cutler, whittling away on the clipboard. Scores are coming in. Scores are coming in for the Bobcat Cowboy. Going to put him in at second right there with a 54. Pretty good. Show him some love for the effort, Howard. Put your hands together right there. 54. All righty. I've already halfway introduced him, but we're going to keep talking about him. We're going back to the Bobcat. We're headed to Cody Faulkner right here. Getting things set and ready. You heard me talk about him a little bit ago in the steer wrestling. He was a 12-3 and three there. Now he's ready to do a little bronc riding. The senior at MSU oh, was well from Gooding, Idaho. Michelle, you got your iPhone out. Be ready to get this. He's on the bucking horse. They call Wild Monster right here from J Bar J. Outside, come on. Oh my goodness. When they named that horse Wild Monster, they were serious about it. Cowboy just a little too soon. Gonna be a no score for him. No score. Wow, look at the air, look at the jump, look at the kick, and look at Wild Monster Buck on that jumbo screen. Well, it's got a habit of saving the bets for last, and Cole Trexler, who is currently leading the Saddle Bronc Big Sky region. We just saw him in team roping with a 6-5. and five. We changed it up then. Let's change up the leaderboard now. We've got a 66 and a 54. I can guarantee we can change it up with this cowboy. He's an all-around hand, a team roper, tie-down roper, steer wrestler, and a bronc rider. He's from Corvallis, Montana, and he's a good cowboy. Seven lacrosse is happy to have this one. We're still trying to get Wild Monster out of the arena. Got him set and ready. When they come back in the arena, friends, I want you to give Mr. Rosinski, Mr. Marshall a round of applause. Doing an absolutely phenomenal job tonight. Helping us keep these cowboys as well as the bucking horses safe and secure. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Oh, oh, man, here we go. We got 66 as number one, 54 as number two. I might step out on a limb and I might say it's in jeopardy. I might step out and say we could have a leaderboard change very, very easily. Come on, Cole. Yes, yes. Oh, we did it, Haver. We got our third qualified ride of the night. Getting him set down right there. I tell you what, he stayed on the full eight seconds, but was it enough to go above the 66? It wasn't, and unofficially moves him to third with a 52-point ride, friends. 52, as we watch the replay over there at the jumbo board. Our scoreboard will pop up here in just a moment. I tell you what, how about we give all of our friends I tell you what, you're when you got to get on J Bar J stuff. 
Hello, Trav. Did you get you another nap in? Good, good. We need you all rested. There it is right there. Garrett Cunningham, number one. I'm loving it. Friends, we're going back to the tight event side in just a moment. At Independence Bank, we're local and you're our neighbors. For generations, we've worked hard to earn the trust of our customers based on how to best serve the people and communities on the High Line. You'll see that in the products we offer from our online and mobile banking to lending solutions that are tailored to fit your life. Our MSU Northern and School Spirit debit card programs are just two of the many ways we give back to our communities. At Independence Bank, we're not only banking on the High Line, we're building for its future. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. I got home from work early, walked in the front door, and immediately felt like I got smacked in the face with a rotten egg. I've smelled a natural gas leak before, so I went right back outside and called Northwestern Energy. They came over immediately. Turns out one of the burners on the stove wasn't turned off all the way, and fumes were filling the room. It's a good thing they had that rotten egg smell to natural gas. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known. It's a full-time job keeping these two safe, but with Northwestern Energy's help, it's a little easier. What does our world need? Our world needs skilled technicians to give us power. Farmers to bring in the harvest. Nurses to provide care. Teachers to give us hope. And you to give us a future. Prepare to give the world what it needs at MSU Northern. Oh, I love it right there. Promoting an MSU Northern. What an absolute great place, great university. I tell you what, you want to get the best education you can. It's right here in Haver, Montana. It's right here at MSU Northern. And hey, get back to the tight event side of things, to the Ropen Box. We're headed to the ladies event of Breakaway Ropen. We're headed to an MCC cowgirl from Shoto, Montana. It is Tori Yeager up right here, Mr. Wallace. Tori Yeager going to be starting us off. Not to resist on, we're out and underway. Pitching it out right there, friends. It's going to be a no time for Miss Yeager, no time. As you can see back down there, there is an effect right here, as well as in all the other time events. Breakaway is absolutely just dominating rodeos all over the country. It's Well, how great is it that it's now part of the PRCA? Oh, it's awesome. And it'll be at the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. Yeah. And the American. Yep, yeah, you get to, it's all over now. It's awesome. So great. Such an such a great uh, opportunity for all these ladies to come Well, the in. more we get to see the ladies, the better. That's my opinion. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. We're getting set right here to go to the Bulldog. We've seen her in a goat tie, and it's time for Emmy Ilgen right here. She's a senior down there at Western. She was in the goat tie, and getting set right here. She was a 6 and 5 in the goat tie, and her and her horse rocket in hot pursuit. Yes, ma'am! We're going to reach out and get it around the neck. Now, friends, it has to be a clean belt collar catch in this breakaway. You see that flag tied on by a piece of string to the saddle horn. We'll see it in the replay. How about a two and nine to start us off? Friends, before we get to the next cowgirl, I want to take care of a little bit of business. We did find this wallet out in the parking lot. Travis Burchard's driver's license is in it. Travis, or anybody that knows Travis Burchard, your wallet is up here by the announcer's stand. Right here, we keep things rocking and rolling. We keep going to Brooke Wilson. In the breakaway open right here. She's out and underway. Gonna pitch it out. Can't make it connect. It's no time. No time. We'd also like to mention there is a gun raffle going on. The McIntoshes, Mr. Steve McIntosh, Miss Wanda McIntosh walking around. 
If you want an opportunity to buy a gun, to see one of those guys, buy yourself a ticket. Pretty cool deal. The money for this is going right to scholarships for MSU Northern Cowboys and Cowgirls. So it's going to a great cause. Make, your, make sure you go get... Looks like a Rock Island 12 gauge, what Mr. Narducci says. All right, and we're back to the action of things, and we go to Layton Byer. Layton Byer, another bulldog to back in the box and get ready to go right here. Also, don't forget about 50-50 tickets. We have some lovely ladies walking around selling 50-50 tickets. That as well is going to go to scholarships for these kids at MSU Northern Rodeo. Nods her head. Let's go, Miss Byer. Another one out and another no time there for that cowgirl from Nevada. Going to be a no time there for Layton. We've had three no times, the two and nine still on top. Done by Elgin as we head to a good one. We head, however, listen to this. She is a skylight right here from Cutbank, Montana. Say hello to Talissa Lytle. She's a barrel racer and a breakaway roper. Good cowgirl from a good rodeo family over there in Cutbank. Let's see what she can do. She's shooting for that two and nine. Let's see if she can change it right here. The breakaway is so fast that everything has to be absolutely picture perfect, and it is. Reach out. Oh, no. Oh, electing her mayor of Heartbreak City right there. Going to be a no time for Talissa. No time, friends. Show her some love. Make the right a little easier. Put your hands together. All right, let's change things up a little bit. Jessica Stevens, Dawson Community College. I was looking at the replay on that last one, and the, the calf dove when it was supposed to duck. And I hate when that happens. Right? Here we go. Let's go, Jessica. But my good luck ran out. We needed all the luck we could keep that for sure. Gonna be a no time there. Shake of the lag by Mr. Cutler, and we continue on. We continue on to a bobcat right here. Rachel Stevenson is the next cowgirl to go. Rachel Stevenson getting ready to back in the box right here. A barrel racer, breakaway roper. Rodeo for the cats. Chantel Brewer, Abigail Neeson, Michelle Williams will be the breakaway ropers to follow. You ladies be getting tight on. You ladies be getting it on the mind right now as we go to Rachel. Nods her head and she's kicking the old star horse up there. Get out to it, Rachel. Oh, yeah. There was some luck right there. Five and one. You can't get in the arena on that one. No. Watch the lay right here. She's kicking, getting down. That cap is mobile and reaches out and right at the last second. Going to fall over the nose and be clean right there. Right now, we head to Chantel Brewer. We head to a South Dakota cowgirl. Currently now in Bozeman, Montana, at Montana State. Getting her and the yellow horse set in the box. Whoa. I tell you what, friends. She was trying for it. She knew the girls to follow. Today, I think it's going to get fast. She had to go for it. She had to try it. Now it's going to run completely through her loop. Going to be a no time there for Miss Brewer. No time. Right here, we're going to go to Abigail Neeson. 
We're going to Abby Neeson from Northwest College. She is a trapper. Cowgirl getting set, ready to go right here. The two and nine is in first, the five and one in second, and the rest is no times. I tell you what, Abby, play it safe. Get old Sarnley in the corner, get out the barrier, and pitch it right now. Got the hammer cocked right there, not to resist, oh, getting up there. Oh. I tell you what, we're snake bent once again right here in a breakaway rope, and Cap's gonna run clean through a loop. There's no time as we got one to go. One cowgirl left, and let me tell you, it's a good one. Coming to us from Oregon. She's rode in for the Bobcats, it's Michelle Williams. Great cowgirl right here. She's a barrel racer and a breakaway roper. Had herself an awesome weekend last week in Glen Dive. Seeing if she can keep the ball rolling, keep the luck up, and keep things going good right here in Haver. Let's see what she can do on the good looking star horse she calls Bud. Out and underway, these cabs are running, yes! Woo! I tell you what, thank you so much again to Iker Cattle Company bringing all of our livestock cattle as well as our buck and bulls this weekend. Friends, listen to this. Put her in second, it's a 3.4. Ah! Boy, she was trying all she could to get the loop on the calf and then stay on. Woo! All righty, friends. That's going to do it for the breakaway rope. And you'll see the scoreboard pop up here in a second. And then we'll head to the tie-down rope in here in just a minute. Sandwiches. Better with Pepsi. <sighs> your Montana and Idaho Lithium Ram dealers need cars. And if you need cash, we'll buy your vehicle. And you'll have cash in your hand in about an hour. It's quick, easy, and safe. It's not some late-night backlot shady deal. Just stop in any time and we'll appraise your vehicle. It's probably worth a lot more than you think. And we'll give you cash for it on the spot in about an hour. So whether you're buying a car from us or somewhere else, or just want to sell your car and keep the cash, we want to buy your car. Buying and selling will always be easy at your Montana and Idaho Lithia Ram dealers. I've been dipping snuff for well over 30 years. You know, I could wake up in the morning and have a weird lump in my gums. Yes, it's like playing Russian roulette, really. I would love grandchildren. And if by quitting, it extends my life some, I would gladly lay it down. Visit quitnowmontana.com and quit your way. This is Mountain Dew. A rush of crisp and refreshing flavor. Delivering a bold citrus kick. Do -do -do. We are back. And we are better than ever. Friends, I want you to make a little noise. Who's having some fun on a Friday night? Let me hear ya. Oh, I'm liking it. As we go to the tie-down. We're going to keep things on the time event side, and we're starting off with a good cowboy. We're starting off with the Northwest College Cowboy. Say hello to Peyton Wilston Hume. He's the all-around talent in the tie-down team roping and the steer wrestling right here. Had a great week last weekend. 
Hi, Brooke Wilson. <laughs> hey, you're distracting us. We're trying to watch Peyton here. Out and underway, we're going to get down to him. Oh, tell you what, catch is catch can right there, friends. Peyton can't make it stick. That's a good cowboy. He's a friend. Let's give him a look, friends. No time for Peyton as we head to Peyton. Peyton Hot 10, a DCC Cowboy, second to go. Right here, friends, if you've never seen this event before, the Cowboys got to get out the barrier. Rope the calf, catch his catch can, and run down to him, put him on his side, string and tie three legs, puts his hands in the air, and he says, I'm done. We couldn't do it with the first cowboy. Let's see if we can do it with the second cowboy. Got to get old Sarley set. We got to get him ready to go. Nods and resist stalling. We're coming to you. Reach out. Got him by a hind leg. Now this is where it gets interesting. If it's not clean around the neck. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When a cowboy comes black on the horse, he's got to ride forward, put slack in the rope, and just like the goat tie, and the calf has to stay tied for six seconds. If the calf kicks free, it's a no time, but that calf's going to stay tied, and we're giving the cowboy a time of a 19 and 4. 19 and 4, a little longer than he wanted, but that's all right. He's still number one. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it right here for Blaine Hubing. One of my friends and one of the nicest, best kids you'll find absolutely anywhere. From Scobie, Montana, he's rodeoing down there in Miles City for Sylvan Lacrosse. He's a team roper and a tie down roper. I tell you what, this is a good kid, and you're about to see it right here. When he nods his head, that shoot gate's open. Let's help him, have her. Oh, oh. No time for Mr. Hubing. No time right there. Say hello to Nevada. It's the Bulldog and it's Matt Goings is the next cowboy to nod his head. Getting set and getting things right in the corner. He's the team roper and a tie down roper. Rodeo for the Bulldogs and Dylan and JT Robbins. We're going to get old Yeller set up and set right, set where we want him. Whoa, Yeller. Where are you going? Look out, Ron. Oh, I, you know, I, that must be cheating if you try to run over the judge. All right, scratch that. We're going to try it again. While we're getting set right here, friends, I tell you what, as you look around this arena, you see all these banners and these absolutely amazing sponsors. We can't do it without them. We love and appreciate them. We're so thankful for them. We'll talk about them in just a minute. Now, right now, Mr. Goings in hot pursuit. Pitch it out. No, sir. No time right there for Matt Goings. going to be an old time. That's a good beard, though. <laughs> it is. That's it a is great a beard. beard. Yeah. Not beard. Beard. Speaking of beard, don't forget about our beer garden right here. I tell you what, we're winding down the night. You're going to need something cold to drink. 
You're going to need a refreshment. Come on over. Don't forget about our concessions. Stay in our beer garden, friends. If you haven't got yourself a good cheeseburger and a good Bud Light, I suggest you get over here and get it done right now. As we continue on with Spencer Gordon, got a good one going. Let's go, buddy. Oh, he's trying to have her. How about we help the trapper? Help him right here. Oh, I tell you what, makes me tired just watching. Cowboy, it was a fight, but he got it done. We're going to ride old Yeller forward. He was forward the whole run, though, that's for sure. Cow's going to stay tied, and we're going to give the Cowboy a 21-2 and two is his time. 21 and 2 unofficially move him to the number 2 spot on the leaderboard. Jim, are you having fun? Always. I love it. Again, Mr. Jim Kyler, Mr. Ron Howard are Pro Rodeo officials joining us this weekend. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming out and joining us. So glad to have them. Right here, we're continuing on with Hayden Welton. Hayden Welton, the cowboy, and on his head and out and underway. Oh, man. Are we hurting right here? We have another no time in the tie down open. All righty. All righty, Jason. We're going to change our luck. We're going to change our luck right here with the Bobcat. Tegan Leno. It's getting, uh, it's getting late. Late night, right? Late night, Jay Leno. Yeah. Montana State. Where are my Bobcats at? I think it's his uncle. Could be. Could be. All right, let's get some uh, let's get some luck change here. We're out and underway. On, Whoa! Oh! Man, I tell you what, that calf is was everybody just okay down there? Everybody, right? she's Woo. good. My goodness, nothing funny about that. No, not at all. Gonna be a no time there for Tegan. Little bit of tough luck right there as we keep going on. Tristan Setzer is the cowboy to go. Tristan Setzer is up next. We're well, still snake bit. We're still struggling right here. Tristan was six and five with partner Cole Tretchler in the team roping. Six he and five here would probably win the night. Well, he changed our luck in the team oh, roping, yeah. and he's not changing the tie down roping. All right. All right. I, I know. I know. We're just going to take a deep breath. We're just going to relax, and we're going to sit back and get ready for a nine-second run. I got, I'm feeling it, Rome. Are you feeling it? Yeah. All right. We got two left, and we're going to Tag Hammonds right here. Tag Hammonds from Powell, Wyoming, rodeoing for the Trappers down there. Wild Tag's riding in again. You heard me talk about them earlier, but again, thank you so much to all our great sponsors. You can see them out there, Stockman Bank, H&R Block, as well as Charlie's Heating and Air, Western Trailer and Marine Sales. There's your Cap Bernard Insurance and the Shanty Bar. Again, thank you so much to all those guys. I tell you what, friends, if you have the opportunity to go and support them, we invite you to head on over, check out those sponsors. 
They do a lot for us. We hope you do the same for them. All righty, we're good to go. Let's go, Roni. We got a good one going, Hammer. Hammer. Boyfriends, I tell you what, we caught him to be six and we tied him to be 30. Kind of reminds me of my calf roping days right there. Oh, the calf's not going to stay tied, friends. He's going to get up before the six second time limit, and it's a no time there for tag. No time. All right, all right, friends, I want you to listen to this. 19 and four is on top, 21 and two is in second, and we got one to go, but guess what? How about it for a Northern Cowboy? White so for Springs Finest, originally from Dillon, Montana. Say hello to Chance Story. We saw him in a steer rest and have a little bit of bad luck, but I can tell you what, we're not going to have bad luck right here. We're going to turn up the heat. Come on, Chance. He's got a good one going. Keep it up, Haver. Keep it up. Yes, sir. Get on the gray horse. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's all it is, Jim. Oh, the Cavs trying it. The Cavs trying it, friends. He's down new leader 12 and 1 for the Cowboy. Headline tomorrow is going to read Chance Told a Story <laughs> for the win on Friday night. <laughs> I love it, friends. He's right there. He had tough luck in the Bulldog. But the top Talk to my friend, Miss Story. There's our leaderboard, and we're coming back to the barrel race in here in just a little bit. Sandwiches. Better with Pepsi. <sighs> your Montana and Idaho Lithia Ram dealers need cars. And if you need cash, we'll buy your vehicle. And you'll have cash in your hand in about an hour. It's quick, easy, and safe. It's not some late night backlot shady deal. Just stop in any time and we'll appraise your vehicle. It's probably worth a lot more than you think. And we'll give you cash for it on the spot in about an hour. So whether you're buying a car from us or somewhere else, or just want to sell your car and keep the cash, we want to buy your car. Buying and selling will always be easy at your Montana and Idaho Lithia Ram dealers. I've been dipping snuff for well over 30 years. You know, I could wake up in the morning and have a weird lump in my gums. I guess it's like playing Russian roulette, really. I would love grandchildren. And if by quitting, it extends my life some, I would gladly lay it down. Visit quitnowmontana.com and quit your way. This is Mountain Dew. A rush of crisp and refreshing flavor. Delivering a bold citrus kick. Do the do. Here we go for some barrel racing. The pretty ladies and the fast horses, or in some cases, the fast ladies and pretty horses. I don't know what it is. We're starting off right here with Elizabeth Bolich, a.k.a. Lulu, to be getting ready. 
The cinch jeans and shirts, pearls are out. Our judges are in place, and we're good to go right here. Sparky, where are you going? Sparky, it's the Burrow Racing. Get out of the way. <laughs> All righty. Platinum Coach Gate is open, and we're good right here. Lou Bullich, let's start us off right. We're going to come in and do the cloverleaf pattern. Let's help her out. Covering a lot of real estate on first. We clean it up on second. Oh, keep it going. Keep it going. Well, friends, right there, it's going to be a plus five for the knocked barrel. Plus five for the knocked barrel. Put her at a 19 and 57. 19 and 57 to start us off as we head to the Bulldog. We head to Chalice, Idaho. See, Tar! Her and her own horse, they call Rooster. We got two standing. Let's do one more. Come on, Jesse! Whoa, how about we just take it? And we get tough. 1365 for the Bulldog. Wow. Absolutely phenomenal. The ground is fast, and let me tell you, it's gonna get faster. Mackenzie Dean, you are next and ready to go right here. Left or right, it doesn't matter which barrel they go to first. We've seen two rights. We're going to see one more. Come on for the Miles City Hall Girl. We got all three standing. However, where are you at? Going to be a 15 and 30 for Mackenzie Dean. 15, 3, and 0 for the Cal Girl. We've had three good about we get better. Get ready for the skyline. She's from Northern. Say hello to Tiana Lane. Oh, that's all right, friends. Let's help the cover of us. She's at Northern. Keep going. When it's all said and done, going to be a 25 and 68. 25 and 68 with the plus 10 for the two knock barrels as we got one to go. One to go before the hand rank, and it's another bulldog from Red Lodge, Montana. Can we say a little bit of the old cow girl of McKenna Schroeder up next? Oh, it's looking good, looking good. We got two standing. Let's get to one more. Keep kicking. Keep hustling. Let's go, McKenna. 14 and 12 when she comes across the electric eye. 14 and 12. Our lights and skylights move on in with the hand rakes. We'll get this groundwork, get it smoothed out, get it how it needs to be for the last five of the night. Right back here tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Short go. We got breakaway slack tonight. Going to finish a run on the cattle. We invite everybody to stay for the breakaway slack afterward, as well as the rest of the slack tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. I will not be here for that. All right, come on, Jason. I'll be at a football. i got to do Northern oh, tomorrow. okay. Well, that's... It's cool. homecoming. We've got Northern and Rocky. <laughs> we'll let that So slide. after slack, come on up. 1 o'clock kickoff. There we go. Great we new go. field. Yes. On campus. Yes. Well-deserved. Long time coming. I believe this is the Skylight's second game on that new field, correct? Well, the second this fall. They played yes. in the spring as oh, well. Correct. So. Correct. All righty. We're back, and we're good to go. Right here, we're going to Cheyenne Carl. Cowgirl coming in on a brown horse. She calls Abraham. Made a trip to the college national finals this summer.
He's got three. He's standing. Fourteen and twenty. Fourteen and twenty for the University of Montana. He's a grizzly. Right here, we're going to go to another skylight. We're going to Skylight Durden. Say hello to the Harlem, Montana cowgirl. Breakaway roper, barrel racer, as well as the basketball all-star. Skylight Durden getting set and getting ready. Trying to make sure everything's set and ready right here in the back alley. Those horses are so wound up. They know exactly they have one job, and they know exactly what they want to do. It's just a matter of when they get turned loose. Exactly right. And exactly Skyly doing a nice right. job back there. I tell you what, friends, in all these events here, the equine athletes are so important. Let's cheer her on. Oh, she's from Northern Haver. Where are you? Talk to her. 14 and 97 right there. 1497. Kelly Durden coming across the line, and we got three girls left. Right here, we're going to go to J.C. Curran. It's a cowgirl to go right here. She's the go tire breakaway for and a barrel racer. Oh, I'm liking it. Let's do one more, J.C. Keeping it tight. Go, go, go. Whoa. We got tie at the top, 13.65. Oh, I'm liking it right here as we go. She's up next from Columbus, Montana. Let's watch her. We got all three standing. Come on, Hannah. 15 and 42 for the cowgirl. 15 and 42. Just absolutely flying. 1365. There's those at the top with some 14s to follow, and we got one to go. Skyler Conley, say hello to the Providence Cowgirl. Oh, keep it going. We're doing good. Gonna knock the barrel for an 18 and 86, including 18 and 86, friends. That's gonna do it for our barrel racing right there. We'll look over to Jumbo Tron. Scoreboard will pop up right here. Fifteen sixty-fives and number one right here. I tell you what, tomorrow the barrel racing is going to be absolutely wicked, friends. I want you to get ready and get set. We'll be coming right back at you now. At Independence Bank, we're local and you're our neighbors. For generations, we've worked hard to trust of our customers. The decisions we make are based on how to best serve the people and communities on the High Line. You'll see that in the products we offer from our online and mobile banking to lending solutions that are tailored to fit your life. Our MSU Northern and School Spirit debit card programs are just two of the many ways we give back to our communities. At Independence Bank, we're not only banking on the High Line, we're building for its future. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. I got home from work early, went in the front door, and immediately felt like I got smacked in the face with a rotten egg. I've smelled a natural gas leak before, so I went right back outside and called Northwestern Energy. They came over immediately. Turns out one of the burners on the stove wasn't turned off all the way, and fumes were filling the room. It's a good thing they had that rotten egg smell to natural gas. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known. 
It's a full-time job keeping these two safe, but with Northwestern Energy's help, it's a little easier. What does our world need? Our world needs skilled technicians to give us power, farmers to bring in the harvest, nurses to provide care, teachers to give us hope, and you to give us a future. Prepare to give the world what it needs at MSU Northern. We'll see what Mr. Cutler, Mr. Howard have to say. Hey, you know what the great thing was? No. Oh, he slapped him. Friends, Bucky going to slap that boat with the free hand. It's going to be a no score there. Oh, no score. Before we get to another bull rider right here, we have the ticket for our gun raffle right here. It is the Ten of Hearts. Ten of hearts. Oh, we got a winner here. Oh, tell me. Red card. Does it have a red back? Oh, that's you. Come on over and get your gun. Again, thank you so much to everybody who bought tickets for that. Your money's going to some awesome scholarships for these northern kids. All righty. Right here, we're headed to another cowboy. We're headed to our second bull rider in the evening. The Duke Sure and Cabaret Insurance Buck and Shoot right here as we go to a light. Can anybody say Sweet Home Alabama for this cowboy right here? I want you to say hello to Taylor Young. Guess where he's from? Northern right here. Come on, Taylor. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. Woo! 
I tell you what, heifer hound, the bull right there, made Mr. Young fly. Wow. Oh. Uh, that's not the recommended way to uh, dismount a bull, by the way. Certainly is not. Glad he's okay. Boy, I tell you what, friends, how about we give the Alabama Cowboy a round of applause? That was not fun or easy. Friends, right now, before we get to the other bull rider, I'd like to introduce to you a couple of gentlemen. I'd like to introduce to you a couple of gentlemen that are absolutely the finest anywhere in the bullfight business. Friends, would you give a big round of applause to Mr. Sylvan Lacrosse? And on the other side, Let's go right here. Little, little shot in the shorts. That wasn't the way either right no, there. No, no, definitely not. Cameron Falcon, the cowboy right there, just getting it to the back side. Carter Brown, excuse me, was the cowboy right there. I tell you what, there's a need for their bullfighters right there. The, the gentleman on the other end, Mr. Travis Lankin, our other bullfighter there. Thank you so much to those gentlemen. I tell you what, you don't find better bullfighters anywhere than those two gentlemen right there. Crowbar, the name of that bucking bull. I don't want anything with a regular crowbar or that crowbar, that's for sure. is uh five seconds of glory right here hey watch out well he's, we have he's enjoying more. having the crowd <laughs> watching him Boy, he's showing up i tell you what Did our did it replay on the jumbotron, Matt? Can we get that back? Boy, that was I mean, gave it to him right there. Ice bat. <laughs> Ice bat. Ice bat. <laughs> Ice bat into my. Just put your whole behind right sure. down in it tonight. Woo! Now we're going to Cameron Falcon. He's got his coach, Mr. Seven Lacrosse, standing out there, going to help him get to the ground safely. But right now, he's got to do the eight-second dance with Neon Nightmare, the buck and bull from Iker Bulls right here. Paul Iker back there getting these bulls set up and ready to do some bucking right here. Getting his hand in the bull rope. They're pulling it as tight around Neon Nightmare as they can. Getting it set down and getting ready. Here we go! Mr. Langan, Mr. Lacrosse, step in, get that cowboy out of harm's way right there from Neon Nightmare. Let's give those bullfighters a round of applause, friends. They have been working after four bulls, that's for sure. Well, we're going to have another no score right there.
I tell you what, we've had four known scores. We're getting to our fifth guy, and Jacob Narducci is feeling it. I'm feeling it too right here as we head to the Northwest College Cowboy of Will Hughes. And the H&R block as well as Charlie's Heating and Air fucking shoot. We're getting him set. We're getting him where he needs to be on a bull they call Little from Iker Buck and Bulls. Big fan of Williams hair here. Come oh, on, William. He got a good one. He's Come got a good hope. Will. Got a great seat. Hey, we're going to get a ride. You can't do it any better than that. Hammer, make some noise. Mr. Howard, Mr. Cutler, winning away on the clever clipboards. We got scores coming in. Oh, listen to this. 73 points. I like that. That's what I want. Right, Jake. We turned it up right there. We changed it around, and now we got something to shoot at. 73 goes to number one as we go to Sterling Rogers. He's on the bull. They call Radar. Let's go! I tell you what. The big Hereford bull they call Radar. Sterling tried to kill a big melon way and couldn't succeed. Get a no score for the Cowboy. No score. Seventy threes on top, and we've had four. No scores. But I want it to change. I want you to get on the edge of your seat, and I want you to get ready, Bigger Better Born. As you stomp your feet and put your hands together, we go to Charlie's Heating and Air fucking shoot. This is going to be Chance Studer and Punch Drunk. To do it right here at the Bigger Better Bar. We just saw the fellow trapper go to number one and we're shooting for it. We're ready to change it. We're ready to beat it. We're ready to go higher right now. Friends, get ready for this. Chance Studer, the name of the cowboy right here. You can head on over, check out that Jumbotron, giving you a front row seat into that h and R block, and Charlie's hitting an air bucking shoot, seeing Mr. Studer set and ready with Punch Drunk for an eight-second ride. Cowboys up on his bull rope, punch drunk. You better get ready for this. When that shoe gate's open, however, I want you to turn it up. I want you to blow the roof off the bigger, better board right here. He's going to nod his head outside, bull ride. He was all over punch drunk right there, friends, but couldn't make it to the last eight seconds, boy. Gonna be a no score, and we say hello to number one of Will Hughes. Boy, friends, how about we give a round of applause to all of our bullfighters right there. Our bull riders as well as our bullfighters, absolutely phenomenal job there.
Well, friends, that's going to do it for us tonight. Thank you all so much. There's our scoreboard. We invite you to come back again tomorrow at 9 and well as 7 o'clock. We'll see you in just a moment. This is Mountain Dew. A rush of crisp and flavor. Delivering a bold citrus kick. Do the do. At Independence Bank, we're local and you're our neighbors. For generations, we've worked hard to earn the trust of our customers. The decisions we make are based on how to best serve the people and communities on the High Line. You'll see that in the products we offer from our online and mobile banking to lending solutions that are tailored to fit your life. Our MSU Northern and School Spirit debit card programs are just two of the many ways we give back to our communities. At Independence Bank, we're not only banking on the High Line, we're building for its future. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Out here, we love our animals. From the wildlife to the livestock. Inside, it's the same. They're just like family. We keep them happy and healthy, most of the time. Secondhand smoke puts pets at risk for cancer, feline lymphoma, vomiting, increases the risk of tumors and lung cancer, even causes eye and skin disease. Secondhand smoke puts your pet's life at risk. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. <sighs> All right, we are back in Haver and a great first night of rodeo. And uh, let's recap that bareback real quick. Number one, Bucky McAlpine with a 71. And he's coming back tomorrow, too, our short go, our top 10. Oh, yeah, absolutely phenomenal. All of, and all of our rust dog events, all our guys will come back for a short round Saturday, tomorrow night. It's going to be bigger, better, and absolutely fabulous. Logan Beatty with a 4-6 and six in the steer wrestling. Goat tying Shelby Rasmussen, a 6-1. and a one. Team roping, Cole Trexler, Tristan Setzer getting it done, 6.5. Saddle Bronc, only three rides, but a 66 got the lead and the 2.9 won the breakaway we got some more breakaway coming up after tonight with slack tie down 12 and one chance story the montana West, or the northern montana boy barrel racing a couple at 1365 and then a 73 in bull riding it's going to be a great final night tomorrow oh, night absolutely phenomenal we as well have slack tomorrow morning at 10 to finish all the rest of them then come right back for the top 10 a short round saturday super excited super great we hope to see everybody back this is Mountain Dew. Of crisp and refreshing flavor. Delivering a bold citrus kick. Do the do. Your Montana and Idaho Lithium Ram dealers need cars. And if you need cash, we'll buy your vehicle. And you'll have cash in your hand in about an hour. It's quick, easy, and safe. It's not some late night backlot shady deal. Just stop in any time and we'll appraise your vehicle. It's probably worth a lot more than you think. And we'll give you cash for it on the spot in about an hour. So whether you're buying a car from us or somewhere else, or just want to sell your car and keep the cash, we want to buy your car. Buying and selling will always be easy at your Montana and Idaho Lithium Ram dealers. At Wayland Tire, it's service first, quality always. Performance, pride, and passion, three things that define the rich legacy of BF Goodrich Tires and the lasting partnership that we've shared over the years. Like the ever-popular BF Goodrich KO2 Tire and all the Advantage TA line of tires, stop in and talk to your local performance experts at Wayland Tire and get set up with the right type of tires from the company that invented performance, BF Goodrich. Wayland Tire, we know tires. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. <sighs> night tomorrow night as they start the breakaway slack. We've got more slack in the morning. And then you know what? We'll be back here tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, rodeoing.tv for another fantastic night. The short go, night two of the MSU Northern Fall Rodeo. Join us then, won't you? We are Northern. We are the teachers and the nurses. We are the farmers, the plumbers, the electricians, and the technicians. 
We are dedicated, passionate, driven, and sought after. We are the world's essential workers and we are prepared for whatever comes next. Join us and prepare for the world at MSU Northern. I think the biggest motivator is probably protecting loved ones. Universally, what I'm hearing from people after the experience of being vaccinated is this feeling of relief, this feeling of joy and hope. The vaccine is absolutely safe and effective. The safety rate has been extraordinarily good given the millions and millions of people who have been vaccinated to date. There's no question it saves lives. Those moments where banking is the last thing on your mind? Yeah, those are our favorite moments too. Bring on the day. First Interstate, built for you. Get an edge in buying your home by getting pre-qualified for your mortgage today.